now on prescribed practical one which requires us to draw cells and last time we used the light microscope to draw these cells here of the onion allium sepa and we took some pictures of it at the times 4 objective and the times 10 objective and then you have another picture taken at the same scale of the stage micrometer which is just like a ruler on a microscope slide now that we have the picture of the ruler on the microscope slide next to the actual picture on the microscope we're able to measure the size of anything on this picture we do it by first going on here and knowing how much one increment is because the whole stage micrometer is two millimeters in size and each millimeter is divided into 10 sections then each section is 0.1 of a millimeter each little line I want you to take your ruler now and actually measure on the picture how much that 0.1 of a millimeter is from this point to this point you're saying that 0 0.1 of a millimeter is equivalent to an actual distance of 33 millimeters. So it becomes very much like a scale on a map. And every time you measure 33 millimeters with an actual ruler on this picture, it only represents 0.1 of a millimeter in the actual specimen. So we're trying to measure the longest distance across the cell, taking this cell, measuring the longest possible distance straight across and it comes to 78 millimeters it comes to 78 millimeters what is the actual size of that cell it's kind of like the missing number right here in this set of ratios you have a ratio of 0.1 to 33 it's equivalent to cell size to 78 suppose I put some simple numbers into a relationship then you'll see how easy this is like 2 equals 10 then how much would equal 50 right and we easily see that and that's the same principle that we have to use down here to figure out the cell size we set up an equation like this 0 0.1 divided by 33 is equal to the unknown the cell size divided by 78 and then how can we solve for cell size what must, what must we do next cross multiply. cross multiply which means you are going to multiply CS by 33 so you will say 33 CS would be equal to 78 times 0.1 which is 7.8 it's all in millimeters so you don't need to to repeat the unit until the end then we need to solve for CS. How can we make CS on one side by itself? What do we do? Divide we divide by 33, and that would mean that CS, the cell size, is equal to 7.8 divided by 33. And on a calculator here, that is the size of this cell, 0.24 millimeters. And if we go search online to find out what is the actual cell size of a red onion cell, you'll find out it's it's going to be reported to be somewhere between 0.2 of a millimeter and 0.4 of a millimeter. So that will then support what we've just measured. This is how you use a scale to measure cell size. So if I give you an electron micrograph, like I demonstrated on another video, click right on this cell here and you can go to that video. You will see how to import an electron micrograph into Logger Pro and how to use the scale on Logger Pro to measure things on the electron micrograph. How many times this thing is actually bigger than the real specimen is the magnification. So once we know the scale of the diagram, we can then use that to measure various things on it. The nucleus is a little small area here, and it's just four millimeters in size. But just being four millimeters in size, and 0.1 of a millimeter is all of this. 0.1 of a millimeter is 14 
So then we say 4 divided by 14 times 0.1 of a millimeter. And that would give us the size of the nucleus because it was 4 millimeters in size, but 0.1 of a millimeter is represented by, on this scale, what's actually 14 millimeters on the ruler. And this is how we would work out the sizes of things, not just on this picture from the light microscope, but if you get something from an electron microscope, and then you're told that this little increment is one micrometer, or this little increment is two micrometers, then using that same concept, you would measure things on the micrograph. The magnification of a specimen, a specimen that's drawn by pencil on in your notebook, like these cells that I drew here, how would I determine the magnification of this? How much is it bigger than the actual specimen? You'd have to go measure the actual size of the specimen, right? which is 220 millimeters. Somebody would have to tell you something. They'd have to tell you what? The actual size of the specimen. And if the actual size of the specimen is 0.26 of a millimeter, then you will say 220 millimeters divided by 0.26, 846. So then we write below this here, we write X 846. That's the magnification. It all depends on how big you draw your specimen on your piece of paper because you're reporting that this is 846 times bigger than the actual thing. That's what magnification is. Micrographs and diagrams of cells and pictures come with scales. And from the scales, you can figure out the magnification. Magnification is size of drawing divided by the size of the specimen. We need to apply this not just to pictures taken from light microscopes, but we can apply this same system to electron micrographs and to any other cell that we're using to measure not just the size of the cell but to measure the size of the nucleus, the size of the mitochondrion, the size of the chloroplast or any of the organelles.